All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are going to go ahead and hop into the Legendary Goku event using the brand new Majin Power Category Team. Now, um, the Special Pose one was quite difficult. I feel like Majin Power will be a bit easier, um, just like in the last run where Gotenks was just completely the MVP. I feel as though it's going to be very similar here with Super Buu being the MVP. Um, Super Buu's extra abilities to crit are going to be very helpful as well. I brought Int Kid Buu who heals on Super Attack. And the other thing with Int Kid Buu that's going to be very beneficial is uh, on Tech uh, Exchange Majin Buu's leader skill, we get 4 key, right? Like the, the whole the leader skill is 4 key and 170% across the board the stats. So. That is going to be absolutely huge for something like Int Kid Buu. Int Kid Buu will be able to put up decent stats. But the issue with him is he's going to get absolutely smacked around. Um, and then, of course, you know, his key will be an issue as well. But, like, if you can get him the key, he'll be able to do good damage. Now, the other thing, too, um, is if, like, let's say we lose and Int Kid Buu doesn't really look that impressive as we're going through... I might toy around and actually bring AGL Kid Buu instead, um, who gets attack and defense per orb and then also heals at the start of turn. He could be interesting. Um, okay, so Buhan with his healing is going to be important. I brought LR Oob, who also can heal. Um, LR Oob, you know, maybe will be a bit weak in the final stage, um, but, like, I made sure to bring lots of sort of, like, two-turn damage reduction items so that, like, while we're going through the, the final uh, fight against UI Goku, you know, we get sort of, okay, we sight him. Okay, Icarus, we Like, just keep that going. Um, and I, I almost probably could replace one of our healing items with a King Yama um, because of Oob as well as, you know, these Boo units. Now, if I take Boo off rotation, we could transform on turn 6 or exchange, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, I, I think because I would just much rather have exchange Boo still on rotation to help us. I also brought Skinny Boo. Now, Skinny Boo is going to have his passive wear off, right? For only seven turns, does he have the 50% chance to dodge as well as the, uh, what else is it? The um, uh, extra 150% attack and defense. But I figured we might need the help against STR UI Goku again. So, depending upon how things go, like if we lose, how we do, um, Skinny Boo and Int Kid Boo are the two units I would probably swap out first. Again, I, I do sort of want to give a try to AGL Kid Boo um, and, you know, sort of see how well he can do here. Because um, AGL Kid Boo, he came out in a funny time. Like, I feel like, you know, just a couple months later, an AGL Kid Boo would be, like, so good. Like, he's very solid, but, like, you know. He gets 14% attack and 7% defense per key sphere several months later, and that's like 17% to attack and defense or something like that, right? Um, I don't know that it really matters which Boo we leave around. I guess I'll leave um, Kid Boo with us. Um, it's more so, you know, I, I very, very rarely use in Kid Boo. There's just not really much reason to. I suppose I'm the Majin Power team now, though. Um, you know, Kid Buu actually can be impactful, right? Again, having 8 key at the start of turn for him is absolutely huge. Uh, but, you know, previously, it wasn't really that important. I'm wondering, did I give him crits? I probably did. All right, so we're going to get Buu Ultimate Gohan right here. This is fine. You know, he does heal. Um, see, the last thing is we could have so many healing units on this team. That's why I think, like, just going, like, damage reduction items would be ideal. But we'll sort of see how it's going to go. What did I want to check? Kid Buu. What did I give him in the potential system? Full crit. Okay. Well, depending upon how things look, um, I actually think I'm going to go Buhan in the first slot right here. Yeah. I, I'm gonna, I, I feel like Buhan will be a, a little bit better of an idea. Um, but depending upon how things look after that Int Kid Buu's EZ8 comes out, I might change his potential system because I've gotten to the point now where I do have most of the units in the game that I actually do want to rainbow. I've got them rainbowed, right? There are still, like, fodder units that I'm continuing to rainbow. But, like, you know, I don't mind using a couple of potential orbs now um, to fix mistakes on some units, right? I, I Like, I believe I did it with, like, transforming Frieza. I gave him full additional. Um, there's a few units now that I have actually sort of changed around. I can't. There is a couple. I can't remember the other ones actually right now i know transforming freeze i gave full additional um i believe that was for some sort of challenge run i did that and i believe it actually did pay off it might have been some run on the legendary goku event i'm not sure um Ub was able to oh 
All right, the three dodge. Uh, three dodge is, is good, man. I, I don't know. All right, so we're not yet at the point where we could uh, transform with Exchange Majin Buu. It, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so let's see what Kid Buu can do for us. I need to make sure to be constantly hitting the same type orbs as well. 2.28 is good. That's actually, man. I, if Int Kid Buu is doing like 2.28 right now, like... Uh, he's gonna be interesting after his EZA, um, but again, like outside of maybe giving him more defense and then more healing, like that's that's really it. Like that, I doubt they would do anything with his attack because he, just his uh, stats being buffed from his EZA is probably gonna be enough, right? What is his attack stat right now? Um, in Kid Buu is at fifteen thousand eight hundred, so he's gonna be like what in like the eighteen thousand range. Um, it's going to be very good. All right, so, of course, we're immediately exchanging, or, excuse me, uh, transforming into Super Buu right here. Uh, Super Buu, unlike Gotenks, is just dominant the whole way through after we actually, like, uh, transform into him, right? Whereas Gotenks, it's kind of like, okay, like, I only have a couple of turns to play around here where Gotenks is at max power. It's not like that for Buu. Now, Buu will just completely dominate the entire way through the event. That's just the way this is going to go. Um, wow, I mean, this is actually... We got pretty unlucky, I would say, with how Goku is placing his attacks, though. Um, we'll give this to Buhan. Buhan will still be able to greatly lower attacks. So that's good. All right, so Super Buu, right? Um, from this point on, it, only, I think, in UI Goku's super attack is going to be able to damage Super Buu. Um, he's just not going to be capable of being touched. 50% um, damage reduction, along with greatly raising defense for three turns. He's not going to be able to be touched again. And when we get to Int UI Goku, uh, Super Buu's uh, other ability that he has is going to really kick into high gear, I think, where he gets a 12% chance to crit per Rainbow Key Sphere obtained. So, like, you know, keep, or, wow, okay, pretty good. But uh, Super Buu could really, if things break right, he could tear through um, U, uh, U, uh, UI Goku, Int UI Goku. So that's going to be good to see. All right, so we'll go ahead and exchange into Super Buu again. Um, make sure he's out. Yeah, dude, he's just so crazy. Like, greatly raised attack and defense for three turns. Three key, 220% attack, 50% damage reduction, the extra chance to crit. Then he has, like, multiple healing links. Like, <laughs> he is impressive, no doubt about that. All right, now again, Kid Buu is going to be able to hold his own here because of the... Uh, Kid Buu will be able to hold his own uh, because of the fact that we have the extra key from leader skills. Uh, no longer can we lower attack, so I'm not sure how Oob is going to do at the end there. Wow, that's a lot of... Di dude, that's a lot of damage that Kid Buu just took right there. That's type advantage. So, when we get to Int UI Goku, I mean, Kid Buu is going to be taking, like, over 100k per normal. I mean, this is... Well, this is why I designed the team the way I did and why I'm going to be just spamming um, items. Uh, like, like you know, uh, Icarus and Whis and stuff like that. Um, as we're going through Int UI Goku. Like, I'm not even going to give him an opportunity to sort of smack us around. All right. So, Oob is at... He has 90% defense from his passive. Okay. And then once we would transform into Majub, then he gets 100%. But it's not a scale. Because before he transforms, he has a scale. The more health, the more um, defense he'll have. Okay. Here we go. It Now, now it's just... It, it's a wrap. It, it is a wrap. Super Boo... If most of the attacks are going to be aimed on Super Boo, we just have absolutely, virtually nothing to be concerned about. Um, now, remember, Boo's defense, of course, is going to be a lot better after his super attacks. But because of the fact that his defense raising mechanic lasts for three turns, um, it isn't going to be like, uh-oh, okay, you know, going to have to be super careful here and make sure that, like, you know, we don't put Boo in slot one. It's like, no, he's still got carryover defense. So, like, his defense would be better after he supers no matter what, but... He still would have carry over defense from the last turn. Um, you know, his leader skill is still giving him 170% defense. Like, yeah, okay, so this this might be double digits right here. I, well, I think this is only one dupe, but let's see. Yeah, 20, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's uh, it's not, not really going to do too much to us, my boy. Um, even this Buhan is looking okay. Again, remember, he is healing at the start of turn. He shares many links with Exchange Boo. Um, he greatly raises his defense on Super Attack. So, like, that transforming Boo, basically under cover by Tech Super Boo, can be okay. Because we have Tech Super Boo completely, like, covering him, things are going to work out good. Okay. Kid Boo's got to get out of here. Um, he's We've now reached the point where he's just going to be way too weak. Um, I'm not even going to play around either. We're just going to put Super Boo out front. Like, no way. 
Um, Buhan probably wouldn't take that much damage, but I'm not even gonna give... I'm not even gonna let that possibly happen. So, this is going good so far, right? This team does have a lot of HP regeneration. There's no doubt about that. Um, even though, like, some of these units aren't actually healing from passive or super attacks, many of them have infinite regeneration. Um, the Majin Buu healing link. I think... Does Metal Cooler also have that? Is that the one Metal Cooler has? Let me double check. Infinite regeneration? No, it's just all Majin Buu units. Yeah. Okay. It, it's a full Majin Buu uh, healing link. Okay. All right. So, I will actually use this opportunity to push... Super Buu off rotation, just so we don't have to really mess around too much. Um, do we have Buhan next turn? We do. So, I, I should also be smart. Um, I'm not going to go for a crazy attack with Oob. I'll do this right there. And then I'll do this right there. Okay. Um, if we take a lot of damage, we do still have Oob's transformation in our back pocket as well. When we fall below 40% HP, he will transform and basically full heal us. We will definitely see that against Int UI Goku. Um, just, pro I, I still, even with, like, Whis items active and stuff like that, I do have to be careful with leaving, like, Oob in front of Int UI Goku attacks, I think, or, like, Kid Buu. Uh, yeah, okay, this is, this is actually double digits right here. This is not... Sorry, bruh. Sorry. Well, wait, wait, 20k, what? Oh, it's a, it's a friend one, okay, okay. I was like, what? This Goku actually did damage? Nani? But, yeah, it, it's a friend one. I, he's only got one doof in him. Um, I, it's actually interesting. I've been able to find a lot of Gotenks with several dupes, but not Boo. Um, so yeah, I guess people, like, were really summoning for Gotenks, even though Boo uh, it probably is a better unit to summon for. Alright, so Skinny Boo still has 136k defense, by the way. Which is, like, not bad. Hmm. I think I could do... That. I will do this, and then Buhan will be able to get a few orbs right here. Remember, Buhan does still heal a pretty decent clip um, on uh, orb as well. So, like, if we, you know, had sustained damage, Buhan would be able to heal. Does Buhan have infinite regeneration, that healing link? I think he doesn't, right? Yeah, Buhan does not have infinite regeneration, but he does heal from orb anyway. Uh, actually, let me... Uh, what units on the team do not have that infinite regeneration link? Um... Int Kid Boo has it. Exchange Bunch Boo's got it. Skinny Boo's got it. Uh, okay, the Transforming Boo doesn't have it. He's only got it when he's Super Boo. Um, yeah, because once he actually transforms, he loses that link. But again, he heals at the start of turn anyway, so it's not too big of a deal. All right, so here we got Kid Boo again, but Kid Boo will only get hit once, so that's not really going to be so bad. I do need to make sure that we have four orbs available for him. We can. Okay, perfect. Just that's obviously super important. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, we're good. Um, Kid Buu also, again, will be healing on super attack. So if Oob takes any damage whatsoever, uh, Super Buu is not really. I mean, 20k if he gets super, but if you take any damage whatsoever, um, Kid Buu should be able to heal it, which is good because then Kid Buu is going to get smacked for 80k or something. I don't know. Uh, so far, this is going good. I mean,. This category is super small, but, like, whereas the special pose category is, like, fodder, like, this team is good. <laughs> it is. And it, it's a team that's only going to get better. Um, it's just because of how well they all link together, and then the one big weakness Majin Buu units will have is key. But it's a four-key leader skill, so that completely helps it out. Like, we don't have any support type units on this team. There's no extra key being given out or divvied out at all. If, if we had uh, Boo as Boo Piccolo, sure. Oh, man, really? All right. Well, unfortunately, I have to do this. Because uh, this... Yeah. Um, well, no, 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 no. Let me, let me not be stupid. Let me not, let, let me not be stupid. We, we need Super Boo. Because he's just doing so much damage. But I can push... I wanted to keep Skinny Boo on rotation, but we can push him off. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, Skinny Boo would take some damage. Okay, perfect. Uh, I Actually, if we get hit by the super attack, no matter where we get hit by the super attack, we'll be fine. Because Skinny Boo has type advantage, and then Super Boo has now gotten his super attack first. Okay. A double super attack by this guy? That's catastrophic for UI Goku. His super attack is going to tickle. Please, super. <laughs> That's not going to hurt very, very bad. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Super Buu doesn't play that. <laughs> I love Super Buu is so good. 
Like, I mean, he easily is the best Majin Buu unit in the game. Like, it's, it's not even close, right? Like, this, this is what Majin Buu units should be. Because he gives himself key, which makes up for his lack of key links. Although, I think he does have fear and faith, right? Yeah, he does. Um, he... He has a uh, healing link, Metamorphosis. Damage reduction. Seals. Like, he just has so much, it's crazy. Okay. Ooh. Well. Hmm. This is what we have to do right here. Buhan. How much defense does Buhan get again? I, I actually have to double check this. Um, I guess I could just pull him up because I could see the number, right? But... He gets 10% defense per orb, so it's a decent number. I think we'll do this, because we are going to be at full health, sort of. We could die. Oh, that's a lot of orbs. We could die right here, but I don't think we would. Um, only if... Buhan has to get super attacked in order for us to die right here, I think. But I, I don't know. I mean, that, that was a decent amount of orbs. Buhan will probably take maybe 50k from a normal or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. I think if Buhan gets super attacked, we do die. But, which is crazy, because, like, this has been such a clean run. Like, looking at the fact that we've used no items, like, I feel like this maybe could be done no item. It might be one unit away. Um, but uh, don't be deceived, right? Because against UI Goku, like, so many units get touched and we instantly die. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we lost. Okay. <laughs> um, it's not really so bad, right? I I'll just come back. Um, we didn't use any items. We were doing completely good, but this is what's going to happen against the UI Gokus because these Boo units aren't good defensively, right? Is instant death. I mean, I, I guess I should have put Oob in the last slot or Super Boo. It's annoying that we just died like that because that was like we were just dominating the whole time, but I we'll, we'll come right back. All right, guys, so we are back um, fighting STR UI Goku. At this point, I have used one Princess Snake item, but we're definitely going to have to use a second item right here because we don't have a lot of great defensive units here. Um, well, I mean, STR Super Boo. No, oh, actually, never mind. STR Super Boo is going to get up to 180k defense when he super attacks. Um, I actually think we might be okay here. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I actually think we're we're fine. I don't have anything to worry about. We don't have to use an item right here. Uh, provided Buhan does not get super attack. Let's see. Five, four. Okay, so we'll do this. All right, so as long as Buhan does not get super... Well, you know what? Even if Buhan does get super attack, we're fine. Yeah, we're in no danger whatsoever of dying. Um, because uh, SDR Super Boo will have enough defense uh, to take double digits from in UI Goku. So obviously he's going to do fine against SCR UI Goku. And it looks like it won't even matter because Super Boo is just insane. So <laughs> give me a crit. Oh, so close. Um, I, I mean, I would really love this to hit to just take away the chance of getting hit by a super attack. And it did. Very, very good. Oob is not transformed. Um, but now things get real, right? Obviously we have a couple of tech units here. Um, oh boy. We have Int Kid Boo on rotation as well. Um, Skinny Boo at least has decent defense. Uh, we definitely need Super Boo in the middle like this. Okay, so we're going to use a Whis item, and then we're going to see how things go. Um, now, okay. This is okay, because we'll be able, we, we're not going to get a Super Attack with Skinny Boo. That's fine, because we can get a Super Attack with Kid Boo. Um, and provided we take damage, which I, I think is very likely, um, Kid Boo will be able to heal us up a little bit from some of the damage we have sustained, right? So, Super Boo and Skinny Boo won't take damage unless they get hit by a super attack. Although, Skinny Boo is, would take double digits from a super attack at this point. Because, you know, the damage reduction item stacks with his normal damage reduction. So, right now he's rocking 90% uh, damage reduction. So, yeah, th this is double digits. There's no chance that this will hurt him whatsoever. So, we don't have to worry about anything here. Um, and then Kid Boo, you know, again, he'll take a little bit of damage, sure. But, we'll, we'll be okay. Um... The only thing is, we, we, man, I really need crits because I feel as though my fear is that we could actually run out of items here. Okay, that's very good. Okay, yes, 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 yes. That is like that. That would be ideal if we had sustained damage too, because that would be a double heal. What does Kid Buu heal on Super Attack? He heals. Uh, let me pull him up. Kid Buu on Super Attack heals 12%. So you'd heal 24% HP basically one fourth okay um hmm 
You know, we're going to get another Dokkan attack. Yeah, we for sure are. Okay. That's good. So I'll do that right there. Um, we don't have any physical units here. I'll give Boo these and then the air... Uh, excuse me, LR Oob. We have a Whis. So LR Oob will take damage. But it shouldn't be anything too bad. I... Hmm. You know, I maybe should have kept LR Oob on rotation um, in the middle slot. Because he just would have taken less hits that way, right? Oh, I also do have to remember, I keep giving S Super Boo just, like, no orbs. Because it's like he basically doesn't need orbs to super. But I do want to remember about getting him extra rainbow orbs will increase his chance to crit. Now, remember, it does not stack with his hidden potential system chance to crit. It's just two separate procs. But it is still helpful to have, right? Especially if we could get, like, three rainbow orbs. Okay, so I'm glad I didn't put Oob there. Duh. <laughs> Uh, a Whis plus his good defense, 150k. Yeah. See, I, I'm getting. I've done this event so many times. I, I, I'm getting pretty good at knowing like what defensive levels uh, sort of match up with how much damage UI Goku is gonna dish out. Okay, so we've taken quite a bit of damage right there. That's fine. Um. But we are gonna have to use another item here for sure. Yeah. Uh, Skinny Boo is better defensively than Boo Han, so we're going to leave Skinny Boo on rotation. We're going to keep him around. The good news is that we're going to get a lot of healing right here from uh, Boo Han. So, and, and we're getting closer and closer to that Dokkan attack. Yeah, Boo Han carrying his own, you know, infinite regeneration giving us healing as well. Although, actually, Super... Wait, this is Super Boo. He no longer has infinite... No, he does. Okay, never mind. He has infinite regeneration and metamorphosis. He has two separate healing links. Oh! Okay, I, I would have preferred a second super attack, but we got two crits right there, which is crazy good. So, all right, we're looking good. Things things are going pretty good. Skinny Boo, man. Even without his full passive, he's still at like 136k defense or whatever. So he is a must-have uh, for the Majin Power Two. Oh, please tell me Buhan is not getting super attack. If Buhan gets super attacked, we m could potentially die here. <laughs> are you kidding, dudes? Please. This is going to do a lot. Oh, we're fine. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We don't have oob. Oh. Hmm. Look at the heal. Wow. The healing. Jeez. Okay, so we have an Icarus active right here. We can get oob to transform next turn. Um... I really have to play my cards right right here. Because with an Icarus active, if I used another Icarus, we wouldn't take damage on this turn. I really want to play it like this, too. Um, oh, I see. Because Tech Boo does not have Big Bad Bosses. Oh, and my, <laughs> my cord disconnected. Okay, so... Tech Boo, the one disadvantage about him is he does not have big bad bosses, whereas STR Boo does. So we'll lose out on some healing, but he gets a lot more defense, and this is going to provide us... Yeah, this... We're going to do this. Um... Hmm. I guess... Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so Super Boo... With the Icarus active... Are you kidding me? Oh, we're good, we're good. Okay, so Super Boo with the Icarus active, right? Um, the STR Super Boo. He'll be okay unless he gets hit by the super attack. Um, Kid Boo will heal on super attack. This is a gamble. We may die right here. I mean, especially if UI Goku does, like, back-to-back -back super attacks in slot three. I mean, it's... You know, it's just... It's the way of the world when fighting this event, you know, unfortunately. Oh, that would have been so good. Because, remember, uh, SCR Boo raises his defense by 50% on Super. If Kid Boo gets Super Attack here, we're dead, I think. Um, unless, I mean, if he double Supers, that's going to be a double healing, which will be very helpful. Okay. We're fine. And 10, 12, we're at, like, 42% HP. Ah, <sighs> damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay. All right, well, you know, uh, let's make sure to give these to Boo right here. Um, so that he gets the crit chance, although... No, we are going to get a Dokkan attack. Okay. Um, let me think. Let me think. What is Uub at? 72k? Okay. 
If I do a Whis, would Oob die? I think he might. Hmm. The Dokkan attack with a real... What is the friend? Oh, the friend is Rainbow on this run, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> 11 crit, 15 additional. Okay, I kind of... Uh, that's okay. That's an okay spread. Oh, man. I don't know. Oob. Because our health was low entering the turn. I, I feel like I have to use two items here. I'm going to use an Android 8 to give us extra defense, heal us all the way up. And I'm also going to use an Icarus as well. Um... If UI Goku super attacked Oob, we just would not, like, an Icarus alone would not have, I mean, he's only at 100k defense right now. Like, an Icarus alone would not have sufficed. We would have died. And that is the Dokkan attack. Okay, perfect. Um, this is perfect. Oh, all right. That's good. That's good. Um, obviously, this is double digits, you know, because we use damage reduction item combined with Boo's damage reduction. We're totally fine. Um, okay, so I did not need to use the Android 8 item. Um, but, I mean... We already got super attacked in the ass end before in this fight. So, obviously, you know, UI Goku could do it again. But, like, those runs where UI Goku is just like, all right, I'm just going to super attack the last slide of the rotation every single time. Those are very, very difficult runs to complete because typically, right, you're not going to put your best defensive unit in the last slot um, unless, you know, like, every attack is in that last slot. And it's like, okay, don't really have much of a choice here. All right, so we have... 22% chance to crit, and then what was it, a 24% chance to crit, or was it three rainbow orbs? Oh, either way, he got it. Nice job, Boo. Yep, there's uh, Tech Super Boo. Ridiculous. He's just a ridiculous madman. That that amount of damage, right? That was a huge hit. So we for sure um, are good moving forward. I, I think we're, we're going to win for sure, because we do have an Icarus active next turn, plus the extra defense from Android 8. We should be A-OK. -okay. Um, and, you know, we've got so much healing and stuff going on. That's a pretty good rotation right here. Not really something to worry about. But we just want to make sure to get Buhan as many orbs, like usual, as possible. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. Yeah. I like that a lot. Boom, right there. We're good. We are good to go. SDR Super Boo, man. I mean, again, under the shadow of Tech Super Boo, like Tech Super Boo completely carrying the burden, SDR Super Boo is at least competent, right? Like, like, he can at least perform fine. And, you know, him having... Bit, that's nothing. Him having big bad bosses um, helps him out dramatically, too. Um, the SDR Super Boo. Right, because at that point, you know, once he gets a 50% defensive raise after he super attacks, he's just going to be in very, very good standing. So, I'm pretty pleased with um, how things have gone. Um, this Majin Power Team, again, I, like, I'm telling y'all, you know, you guys didn't see it, but on my special pose run... It took me six or seven tries to get through that. Like, it, it was tough. It was real tough. Like, you know, it, it's just because a lot of those units, you get supered and you die. Like, it's, it's just over. It's Majin Power Team. I mean, this is, like, my second try. Do we have items active here? No, we don't. Because uh, Skinny Boots at 136k. Okay. Um, we use a Whis. I think we're good. I uh, don't think we have anything to be concerned about here. Uh, we'll be able to get a super attack with all three units. Um, in Kid Boo, man. He did good. Um, he did fine. This, uh, you know, I I'm telling y'all right now, if we get LR Kid Boo and he's like the best unit in the game and then we can put him on this team with this leader skill and stuff like that, like, Majin Power Team is going to be very fun. I, You know, I, I think summoning for this tech exchange Boo could be a good idea. Like, you know, global players, you know, depending upon how things go, like if we get, you know, the EZA for Boo Go Tanks and, you know, Buff Boo, um, you know, if we get LR Kid Boo, you know, if we get a new, you know, Boo Han, like if, you know, some of those things happen before these banners come to global, that's bad, but we have damage reduction, so we, we will survive. I mean, it's going to hurt, but remember, the damage reduction items really take the bite out of these super attacks, yeah. Okay, still uh, no transformation by Oob. Okay. Um, and yeah, th this is what we're going to want to do right here. I will use a Princess Snake. I mean, I guess technically we could lose still. Um, if Boo just wants to do the annoying thing where he's just like, yeah, you, sorry, you can't hit me. Um, we'll, we'll see if he decides to do that. Uh, but obviously I could not leave Oob in that final slot. Um, even with damage reduction items and stuff like that, it's just it wouldn't have been good. Okay. I mean, all we need is one crit, basically. We're done. And, like, Super Boo the whole time, like, 
his defense good enough to neutralize most of what Int UI Goku's doing, and then he's doing 3 million attack stats at the same time. Like, you know, that greatly raised attack and defense for three turns is just a stupid effect. Like, it's just very dumb. And by very dumb, I mean very powerful. All right, come on. Give me a crit. Oh, boy. All right. Okay, um, I my memory is slipping. I already can't remember what items I used right here. I really thought that was going to be GG. Hmm, we should be good. Yeah, we'll, we'll do this. Um, <clears throat> we should be good. I don't think we're going to die. And again, pretty much everyone needs to miss. Like, Goku needs to just be... You know, UI Goku versus Jiren in order for us to lose right here. Because you... I, I, again, I, I can't remember what items we have active. I, I, it, it lost me. Like, I... <laughs> oh, well. We won. Super Buu is pretty dominant. I mean, he he's he's an animal. I, I, it doesn't really... You know, what else am I going to say besides that? He is just a beast of a beast. He is a beast's beast. Is what Tech Super Buu is. So, I'm, I'm a very, very, very big fan. Both the Buu and Gotenks are very good in pretty much the entire game. Which is very strong. So there we go. Um, only took me an hour because, you know, I got up to the SCRU I go and then was doing other things. Uh, this run really wasn't that bad. And Oob, the whole reason to bring Oob is, well, it's twofold. Him, you know, transforming and healing you and then being good against the AGL phases. But I could have left, uh, you know, Tech Oob completely off. Maybe brought um, Android 21, um, who's another healing unit, or... Uh, maybe Boo Go Tanks to have advantage over in uh, UI Goku. All of them would have been options. So, let me know what you guys think of the Majin Power category. I thought it performed very well here. We we had to spam a lot of items, but I mean, a lot of these Boo units just don't have defense. This is how it is, right? So, thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.